Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest known 2K in existence. And it's looking like NBA 2K25 is cooked, man. There is mayhem. New shooting updates. New dribbling updates. New speed boosting updates. Skill based matchmaking has the community at war. People are reverse boosting, hiding, going into easy parks. I'm going to give you the sauce. Going on 100 game win streaks, okay? Because of skill based matchmaking. Hey, they say they're going to patch it. I'm going to go over a lot more things in the video, but before we get into all that y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new want to be up to date with a uh, 2k25 and get this video to 500 likes if you believe you deserve better on a video game that you spend a hundred a build on <laughs> <laughs> So firstly, this event that is going on right now currently, okay? Everyone's players ascend. Okay, I'm gonna show you evidence of this. You could be 60 overall and you have crazy attributes. You're hitting with 25 three-pointers. I'm watching 60 overall centers lock up 99 overall guards. It was crazy, right? But let, let's look at this. This guy's 5'9 did this, okay? Let's have a look-see, man. Oh, Damn. Damn, what's going on? Yeah. What the? Wait, hold on, what the? How how does a 5'9 just jump this high? That looks like a tall player. Is that a center? Getting damn. Is that Allen Iverson in his prime? Like Allen Iverson fused with Deion Sanders? God <laughs> damn. I don't know, man. Look, Young Shoot says how broke basketball gods is. I'm on a 60 overall inside center. 7'3 greening everything what is this rookie sliders i don't even think you could do this on rookie sliders do y'all think we deserve better for a hundred dollars a bill this is an event then the event wrong right but people be uh you'll be whining and crying saying you asked for this i don't know who told them to uh have everybody's my players be juiced out and i don't know man there's something wrong with people bro some of these narratives y'all be pushing is crazy but i mean i don't think anybody asked for this look at this man Look, defensive anchor, 60 overall, three points. Look, you can see the three point, it's at red, right? That means you can't shoot, guys, okay? Everybody cheating in the event, right? Look at this. Look, huh? Let it play through, my boy. Hold on. So look, he greened that, right? Isn't that crazy? And we paying 100 a bill. We got a 94 three and we breaking it. But a 60 overall doing this, what's going on? Y'all think this is acceptable? Y'all think this is acceptable in a game where we spent a hundred a bill? We got trash servers and everything. Isn't that funny, bro? Like, do other games go through this type of stuff? Like, bro, this is hilarious. Now, look at this damn robot, right? I, look, with the skill matchmaking, I am I'm a very empathetic human being. Despite what you fools might think, you don't pay attention. I'm very empathetic. I know all sides. Empathetic in all aspects of life. Now, with this skill-based matchmaking thing, I low-key wanted to stay in the game, but it's only for selfish reasons. I wanted to become more strict, and I want them to somehow fix it because the truth from these damn creators that be double-twisted on their knees, they are forced to play people on their caliber. They will start talking that real and become that baby swan, and that will inspire the revolution that is needed in this 2k community civil war inspiring swamp but bro i'm so serious it's the only way to make them get off their knees because they're not just beating down on the worthless npcs with no thumbs or ripples in their brain it will make them talk that real you know because they would have to you know and then when you play in versus yourself people on your caliber you will be forced to talk that real especially if you stream because you're gonna feel embarrassed you feel me but anywho but i definitely understand everyone's viewpoints and problems with it we're gonna get into that more later on but this guy says now they moved on to crying about skill-based Match. What are they going to cry about next? I was begged for by the community. This is just a lie. Sim Nation negative win percent casuals are lost. Who in the hell was begging for skill based matchmaking in part? What? Who was crying in theater? Who? The, the people that they're trying to label this on, it's literally a lie. Like, like it's not true. The only people that were asking for skill based matchmaking were rec players. That's not the that's not the community that they're trying to push this on. Isn't that crazy? Every new thing they're trying to push it on the talented people. They don't talk about this. All these do is lie and create and say things that sound good. It's a sick. <laughs> things are implemented poorly. I mean, 
come on man y'all 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 gotta get better dog now a lot of the creators that y'all see double twist in the game they really just beat up on people non-stop right if they were to go live and to play people on their skill level you would see how they truly feel about it. and i think that would be good for the community now i understand the problem with it i don't think people should be controlled when they're trying to have fun on a video game that has horrible servers and latency and you spending a hundred a build you don't want to always be forced to play with sweats man that's corny that's lame you feel me i could understand it right like say you got some irls everyone has irls or longtime friends not everybody's gonna be decent at a game some some of your homies got smooth brains and you gotta go play these sweats because you're somewhat decent at the game eh. I get it, but look, there are some hackers invading the leaderboard, right? With people complaining about the leaderboards, everyone's gonna be like, you guys beg for this. <laughs> Look, listen, here's the problem. 2K has to police this. They have to ban these boosters in every mode, proving grounds. It's just filled with hackers and boosters. 2K, get on your job. You're not very hands-on. It's your moment. You gotta ban them, fix it up, you know? We already know people are always gonna boost, but it's still good to have leaderboards in the game, right? But you gotta do it correctly. You just gotta ban them, okay? It's okay to have standards in life, guys. Come on, man. Let's get better, man. Now look at this. 2K Lab did a badge test, right? With lightning line. Y'all let me know what differences y'all notice and how y'all feel about this. 7% so for bronze, 10% from silver, 14% for gold, 17% for Hall of Fame, and legend 20%. You and you know you know it's crazy, dog. And it's compared to 68 speed with ball zero. It's like Sinners can still keep up with it. isn't that crazy and it's like a sinner just walking up the ball he's damn near moving like a little guard bro i think that's crazy bro i mean there gotta be a speed gap in the game bro it's you know and then when you're driving it's like a parachute activates all to limit the the top percent it's just very unrealistic bro i'm not gonna but Hey, now here is the number one rep. I don't know how they're doing this, but uh, this is hilarious. Hey, we got 2K Lab talking about that uh set shot legend. Okay, now looking at Let's the see chart what he talking the about. Rip, you can see the legend hey. version of set shot specialist is uh -huh. far and away the best version, which of course makes sense. Uh -huh. But based off this test, set shot specialist on legend seems to have a significant mm. effect on your ability to hit standstill shots. Now looking at the, you know, it's so crazy. I'll be seeing people with legend set shots still playing it. When compared to no badge, the legend version of set shots. So two percent three percent see look a lot of y'all that's struggling with shooting y'all gotta get this badge at least on gold you know any of your standstill shots it's gonna pop up all of fame a legend and those are the percents man y'all let me know how y'all feel about it what i did notice is that the lower badge levels seem to help out more on the outer edge of the green window mm. as opposed to the center but this will help with slightly mistimed shots now overall this mm. is a great badge for all shooters Bye. to have and if you can get it to at least the gold level you should oh, be able see? to notice a huge difference in shooting now you may be thinking this is the new catch and shoot badge help any standstill shot even after dribbling but it does more yep. than just help catch and shoot shots this badge will help any standstill shot even after dribbling uh -huh. and it's almost like stop and pop or rhythm shooter from past two k's this is yep. the best badge to have for all spot up shooters to yep. help boost your chances of making now look they did a limitless range test let's check it out the man point attribute requirement and here's the results first let's start with the obvious oh the limitless range is that bronze silver is a eh. gold a little mo purple that red that look crazy i don't know man i've been seeing people with the badges they ain't i don't be seeing them go crazy Obvious. hall of fame and legend badge levels look extremely good mm. on this chart the legend level provides an eight percent boost over hall of fame while hall of fame is still insanely good boost. providing about a seven percent boost over damn 26 is damn you know what's so crazy it's so easy to like make a 99.3 build so like what is this going to create like depending on how far you could shoot if you can like actually shoot shoot damn i already see people throwing full court shots in this hole for gold gold looks to be worth targeting if you intend on using your max plus one badge perk on it as the results from gold mm -hmm. hall of fame look pretty significant the bronze silver levels still offer a decent boost and you know so crazy you could just get that hole on hall of fame and then max plus one it mm, sauce with silver being able to hit over 50 percent of its shots with perfect timing but these silver can hit 50 percent perfect lower badge levels don't seem to offer great overall value Wait, if you perfectly time it you can only hit 50 percent is he is he confirming there's no uh pure green window what the hell we did the same test here but from about 32 feet out and this is really where the higher badge okay. levels can shine when shooting from 32 feet out the legend badge dominates with over a 60 percent make rate with perfect timing Pop wait i don't i don't know if i'm stupid y'all let me know if i'm stupid i don't I don't 
don't know. Is he saying that if you time it perfect, 40% of the time you could still miss? Is that what he's saying? Is he saying that 2K is making you uh miss? Or am I tripping? I don't know if I'm tripping. No, I'm, I, ain't, I ain't with the charts and all that. Is, it, is this what he's saying? He said perfect timing, 60%. Hall of Fame looks solid, but with a mate rate of slightly below 50%, this distance is mostly reserved for Legend Limitless range. And as you can see, the window to time shots from this distance is much tighter, making these shots pretty tough to hit unless you know your jump shot down to a T. We did the same test here, but from- Let me know if y'all like that in the game. Maybe I'm tripping, bro. Don't be too hard on me if I'm tripping. And on the screen, you'll see a rough example of exactly how deep that is. Another very important uh -huh. thing to keep in mind is that when shooting from 29 feet and beyond, your shot will speed up by about 40 milliseconds. Damn. And if you're not mindful of the distance you're shooting from, it will be much harder to time your shot consistently. The stop percent versus goal post, 18%, 27, 31, 43, 46. Ooh, so ain't no point in going purple. It's only 3%. I mean, you could go purple in and just max plus one. Y'all let me know if this seems solid to you. Hey, y'all always tag me in something. So Snaggy tweeted out to me. These are the lit proving ground leaderboards I was telling y'all about, right? There's a random name, you know, look at all these names. Gotta ban them, 2K. What are y'all waiting for? Hoster wants skill-based matchmaking to go away so he can go back to clip. Hey, I was talking about how basketball gods was tripping, 60 overall centers doing all this and that. Posted a clip of a 60 overall. Swag Return says, events used to be who can end games in four hours the fastest. That's pretty good. That was a nice old style. It should it should be similar to this for these events. These 12 hour windows is kind of crazy, bro. I don't know who thought of this. You should definitely be fired. I'm not even a, a event guy. This is, it just showed that 2K is so out of touch. Who wants to play event 12 hours straight? What's going on? You can lag out error codes. Like That's so weird. I don't know. No, but then he says now it's who's willing to die in their chair for boost still be matchmaking you see chico saying it basketball gods being 36 hours is the cycle of this game and how it gets give us something good something that the community love change it randomly ways nobody asked for but they be saying we be asking for it <laughs> and completely f it up the fact that this is longer than four hours is crazy <laughs> oh so they thought it was 12 hours the event is actually 36 hours it just resets <laughs> bro imagine being a sweat and like like how you feel bro and some of them guys still be double twist in this game that's crazy this is so funny bro now let's see what gb3 has to say about Skill-based matchmaking, man. We stay off the side of Twitter. You know, it's like, okay, skill-based matchmaking. I'll uh -huh. completely 100,000% agree. It's a terrible thing when it comes to, you know, people boosting and, you know, taking uh -huh. advantage of it to be number one in this and, or make, make it that way they have an easier time winning, you know, events mm -hmm. and being on the leaderboards. And all. Okay, yeah, that's, that's perfectly fine. We should all agree that's terrible. Before he gets into his point, <laughs> Here's what's really going to happen, especially since 2K is not good at being hands-on with anything, you know, truly pathetic company. <laughs> um, here, here's what's going to happen. It's going to create people able to boost and create a false record and every and really bully casuals even more and easier because they know there's certain thresholds that they got to do and they can just go beat down on bums and get the easiest games ever even streamers youtubers all this and that they're going to completely avoid everything y'all are so worried about these players y'all don't even realize stage players don't be having maxed out plates or high win percent those are the you know like the real comp that really be in the field you know it's it's only certain it's a very rare percent that has high win percents and those aren't even the best or the best players the best players really have the trash type of cards and win percents because they're in stage taking l's and stage counts with your stuff i think proving ground counts with your card somewhat so they're actually losing so if you're doing this skill based thing vents come up or the theater they're gonna be in the casual you know and beating them down so i mean y'all worried about people that don't exist i don't know bro i don't exist like 91 percent players do they don't exist bro to uh try to do all this and that is really crazy but i hope they make it stricter somehow fix it so uh we can get a revolution in this hole
<laughs> Let's get a 2K revolution. Let's get about. Right. But GB. if I'm just playing park or theater, right? Like I genuinely <laughs> don't care about playing another player that 2K like sees or that 2K thinks their, their systems, whatever, think is a good player. Me I don't either. care about that because I know I'm probably still going to beat them. And so I know the me arguments either. are, oh, I don't want to be playing sweats all day. I'd much rather have a casual. And look, that that's see, look, me and GB3, we're completely we're different from everyone else. I don't know if GB3 is actually like that, but me, I'm like a psycho, right? I love comp. Like I, I love to, I love it. I just gotta have the right teammates, right? But there are a lot of creators or decent people who hate that. They don't want to sweat just because they get at the game. And there's a lot of people who like to beat down on bums. I would say probably 90% of gamers, they would just want to beat down on people, bro. To be honest, like I'm crazy, bro. Like I go and wreck and I cuss everybody out and make it the most toxic chaos thing to try to have fun. And you know, you should just go do stage with randoms until they just started throwing full court shots. I love it. I love the chaos. I love to be at a disadvantage, but it's still got to be fair. But most people aren't like that. Man. Casual game, but what about that casual player you're playing? Wouldn't they want the casual game too? But then they have to match up against you and get 21 would It's like it benefits us. It's so rare for a casual to play a decent person that's 21 on them. I think people are just too envious of videos, bro. Like playing meta players, it's so rare. It, like meta players aren't in the wreck, bro. You feel me? And like those are the main people who be crying about skilled people. We don't play wreck. A few of us go in there for content. Content creators, we don't exist. We're not even 1% of the wreck base, bro. So when you're playing wreck, those are people, those are your people. Like if they're zoning and all, those are your people. They're horrible. They can't play rank pro am. Everyone in the wreck, 98% are, are so bad, they can't even go to the park and get a 65 win percent. You feel me? Like they're bad. Like so bad. I know that might bother a lot of y'all. The truth, prove me wrong. <laughs> you won't, you can't. I play both, been playing since the first 2K. I'm him. I, I understand how, how it works, bro. And even in the park, bro, there's like no meta people. Like it's so rare. Like everyone's whore. Like you might run into like someone who really know what they're doing every one out of 10 games or 11. P people really be looking for excuses for like why they're getting beat down, beat down on. Like they try to blame YouTubers and meta, how TikTok ruined everything. But these 2Ks these days, people don't take serious. And there's just no comp, bro. I've never had such a high win percent playing as little. It's just so easy, bro. I think last year I might have lost like two part games or one out of like out of like hundreds like bro that's crazy i could i could never do that before people like they really tried getting good at the game the good players like of course we're just gonna beat up on people but the people we're beating up on they're not having a good time at it so it's like i mean if you're a good player they're not gonna have a good time no matter what gb3 i ain't gonna hold you're gonna beat everyone regardless. I don't know. I see it as like a fair thing in park and theater. Even if you just want to play with your boys, right? I've seen a lot of arguments. Oh, I just want to play my friends, exploited. my IRLs. Well, most of the time your IRLs aren't good at the game. So they're probably only gonna be black overalls too, or black plates, whatever. So I'm pretty sure you're still not gonna be playing against some of the best players in like theater and all that. I don't know. I really don't see it as a problem. Unless it's being abused for boosting, being number one in this and that game mode. Yeah, that's a bad thing. But and then look, all you gotta do, it's it's so simple. Be like, yo, go get on your other account, invite me to this park. They beat them down, right? Even in my Discord, someone was like, who wants to go to easy park and go on a 30 game real quick he not no comp guy right that's crazy and to get your banner low you can just go into proving grounds and just go to the ones and just keep losing right so when you go play you're playing no comp you feel me i always i always tell y'all the more you try to restrict and limit something and back them into a corner you back a line into a corner it's gonna do you bad more cheese is going to happen the, these 2ks are becoming more clunky and casual, and people are actually cheesing harder than back in the day Day, and they're doing things that are unstoppable, right? That they wouldn't have to resort to in them other type of games that weren't even possible. But now everyone's just going to this cheese that, you know, you, you can't stop people, you know? You gotta just make a fun game, have a skill gap. When you try to force people to do something, it's gonna blow up in face every time. But I don't, I don't know why people don't be listening to your boy Swan. But when just playing part in theater, it's like, okay, you wanna play casually. You playing casually is just playing or beating up on, I don't know, an 80 overall that loads up the game once a month. So I was like, I don't know who's loading up with an 80 overall. That's a rare thing too, man. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, and I know you probably don't even have fun playing against them. I know I don't. We end the games in like a minute. So I don't know. It's just a viewpoint. I guess I'm very, very off on the side one but i really don't see how unless it's proving grounds unless it's a game mode or an event or whatever where you're trying to be number one i see no problem with this like whatsoever and then the wait times 
they're apparently getting packed for the skill based matchmaking for these events the re a lot of the reason why people are doing the 60 overall thing is because they're not getting games they play one game they're waiting like 15 20 minutes that's crazy bro i mean if, if you're gonna have this in the game you should try to link them up with who it is first and then in like a minute or two take them to like a wider reach like don't be having people waiting crazy long that's corny i ain't gonna hold you so extra nut he is a comp player and he likes to play with his IRLs. Because I'm good at the 1v1 court, my IRLs have to play against meta stage lineups every game. Move skill-based matchmaking entirely. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Miami's saying that's the worst event he's ever played. Skill-based matchmaking. Made a 12-hour event. You walk out once, you lose your streak. Damn. You lag out error code. Done. Can't take a break for 12 hours. Is it really 36 hours? All top five is Zinners and people with three blocks. I won't get a game for 20 minutes unless I play the 60 overall. Ugh. In Demi video, he confirms that skill-based matchmaking will be changed. Hey, Swag says, NBA 2K25 will be the worst next-gen game if the game stays the same. <laughs> Year round, I don't give a f Normally, I love this product and company, but holy f I can't stand this. I got idiots telling me skill issue. If you are so elite, Billy Joe 447 282, wager me. Very true. A lot of, um, I know there's a lot of casuals watching this video. All of you are casuals, but a lot of people be coming out of place, man. You're not willing to play someone for bread. You cannot talk crazy. You can't call someone bad at the game. You can't tell someone to adapt if they're better than you. you. Can't call them bad. You can't do that if you're not better, right? And if you're talking like that, you should be willing to play them. This is normal man thing. Like you can't talk crazy and not be willing to, huh? You feel me? Like it's the power of the internet, man. You know, like you don't, you don't behave like that. Don't disrespect people if you're not willing to, you know, do some type of something confrontational. You feel me? That's got to post this clip saying realism. Let's see what he's talking about, man. Oh, oh damn. Oh damn. Oh damn. Oh damn. Flash edition tweeted this out saying he'll uninstall this whole kickball violation. Damn, I think they're gonna fix this. Hold on, they get that steal. Hold on. Oh, he dropped the ball and then no one could pick it up, and then they got the kickball. Damn, that's trash. EP tweeted out 2K25 is horrible but has potential to be good. Server is horrible, shooting inconsistent, no pain D. Post score sag off purposely. Dribbling is not bad, just needs a speed boost like 22, just like 24. Not fixed, the game will be dead in a month. I already see a lot of people's views drop. Attic. That really shows how people enjoy the game because if you're not willing to watch it, that is the true teller of everything. All these different methods they doing to sell their game and all these different methods for microtransactions, that don't say nothing. If the game not entertaining to watch, that really says a lot. You know, I'm noticing across the board on the Twitchers for people's Twitch streams and people's YouTube videos, man. Game gotta be fun to watch. I ain't gonna hold you. If a normal guy can look like a stage player, he's not gonna be like, I watch this. It's not, you know, he gonna feel like he better than you, even though he won't play you though. There's no real separation with game. Like skill got very small in these newer 2Ks. Look at this. Of course he won't do this because uh, he's trying to ruin the game. He says adrenaline should be lost for every post move done beyond the first animation. There's penalties for over dribbling this is very true and it's been like that since the beginning 2ks for some reason people don't know that they've always said the more you dribble the harder it is to make your shot as in green green window goes down you lose stamina your green window goes down if you do all these different type of animations and you stop to shoot you get different type of animations all this and that all this different these different skill elements but post scores could just sit there shoot through you shoot over your face they're not losing nothing no stamina no adrenaline nothing you know but Look. And then I'm hearing people don't even have to have the post badges. If they just have strength, they can just drop step you and just score every time. But I mean, yeah, he says no penalty. And when the same post move repeatedly, he won't do this. It should definitely be targeted because they've been the most OP builds into a 2K17. Let's see, let's see what flu talking. Let's see, let's see what flu talking. Damn. That's a nasty steal, boy. I hope they don't over nerf steals, man, because I really, I, li I like, I like, I like the passing lanes, but some of it's kind of like crazy. I don't know about this one in particular. Some of it's, but lethal shooter score zone. Now, if you match lethal shooter score in hot zone drills, the HUD will display zone boost. But if a zone is currently hot, it will not be boosted. They're apparently going to fix it. That's 
Guys, please get your hotspots. Don't play online unless you get your hotspots. Please. You ruining your experience and everybody else's experience. Anywho, if y'all want to learn to dribble like a dribble guy, go watch my last video. Click the video on the screen. It will change your life. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.